Hey there Capricorn, welcome to your reading for 2016. This is for Capricorns who are born between January 11th and January 19th. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then uh, I've been doing three videos for every single sign and breaking it down into the astrological deacons for each sign. Uh, so if you click the description below, you can find all three videos for Capricorn with the appropriate birth dates after the link or before the link. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet, but uh, and you can just use the link that has your birth date in it, uh, and that will be the appropriate video for you to watch. I've been telling everybody, feel free to watch all three videos. I'm sure you're going to find that certain things are accurate for you or resonate with you in the other videos, but chances are if you're born between, again, January 11th or Jan to January 19th, this will be more accurate for you. So the first card you have is the Nine of Diamonds. has not been showing up a lot at all um, during all these readings that I've been doing for, for this whole thing. Nine of Diamonds is all about new things coming in, new opportunities, new business, new jobs, uh, you know, new chances to do things things. It's a card of uh, also being creative, uh, using your creativity to create abundance. And it's a different kind of creativity. It's not like creativity, like painting or anything like that. It's more like creative thinking and, and coming up with creative, strange solutions. I always say with this card, you know, if you find yourself coming up with something that seems like totally wacky and off the wall, just go with it. Even if it's in business or at work or, you know, to improve your relationship, whatever it is, just go with it. Don't judge the ideas with this card because they might be like a little bit out there. But overall, they, you know, they'll work out for you. That's the important thing. It doesn't matter how weird or strange the ideas may seem. Uh, people who have this card are very good at business. It's a very businessy year for you, uh, by the way. You got a lot of business stuff going on here, a lot of harvesting and all this. Uh, so I, I think you're going to do that. It's also about learning more about business and, and your job. So, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a job or business. I think you're going to be doing a lot of learning as well. Um, and, uh, you know, just watch with this card again, you know, I always say that the odd numbered cards, sometimes they kind of make you feel a little bit off balance. And in this case, it would have to do with relationships. Chances are you'd be working too hard and, um, not focusing on the relationships that are important to you. So this card just simply asks you, Hey, focus also on your relationships. Make sure to create that balance between the two things. Next, you have the queen of diamonds, which is Capricorn, uh, or, you know, an earth sign here um and uh you know it's a card that uh it's it's a good card let's put it that way because a lot of people call the king of diamonds the ceo but i call the queen of diamonds the ceo because she makes better decisions than the king of diamonds the king of diamonds can be very reactive you can just make bad decisions because of that queen of diamonds she has the added benefit of trusting her intuition so all decisions that you make in 2016 definitely you know go with your gut trust your intuition and you will see a lot of abundance even on this card the queen of diamonds she's holding like a pentacle in her hands if I can get this to focus which it doesn't want to do for some reason and uh, she's got like a basket of fruit basically sitting there on her lap so it's kind of like a big time harvest card you have a lot of cards here that represent harvesting building collecting all of those things which would be the queen of diamonds for sure Next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. So as if business things weren't good enough, you have like one of the best business cards in the deck. Ten of Diamonds represents success in business. It also represents stability. If you've been experiencing a bunch of ups and downs and you know all over the places, then this can bring more stability to your life, make your life more stable, more exciting. Uh, so it's great if you own your own business. You could really step up and become like a leader this year and make a lot of money in your business. Uh, even in your job, you have a potential for you know raises, promotions, all of that. When you have a ten of diamonds, you become really good at you know creating your own success and abundance for yourself, and that's what you're going to be doing with this card, creating your own thing. So even if you have a job and don't have your own business, it's like you're going to be able to create your own position, or create the opportunities to get a raise or a promotion. All of those things come up. The thing about this card is it does require you to work, so you, you know you're definitely gonna have to work for it. But I mean, Capricorn's a worker, so I think you're going to be working anyway, and it's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, and again, I would, I would encourage you if you don't have your own business, but you've been thinking about starting some sort of side business or your own project, I would encourage you to do that for sure this year, number one, but number two, this card really wants you to have your own business also. So you might want to like, you know, think about that 
Uh, the other thing about this card is if you are considering starting your own business or do have your own business, uh, this card asks you to focus on like a big problem, you know, uh, which is might sound obvious because you Capricorns have a good business sense, but really the most successful businesses out there fo focus on solving like one problem. And that's what this card asks you to do. It says, hey, focus on creating a service or a product or, you know, selling a product or in your business that solves a major problem and that will lead to a lot of success with this card. Next, you have the Nine of Spades coming up, which can be a card about worrying about things, holding on to the old, uh, you know, uh, holding on to old beliefs even. So if you have any old beliefs that are holding you back, not allowing you to move forward, definitely let go of some of those this year. That's what this card asks you to do. It says, hey, you might be you might be believing in some things that are kind of like holding you back. And you would know because there would be old things that you believe that just really no longer, you know, no longer serve you. So let those things go. That's what this card asks you to do. And I mean, if you find yourself, it's kind of one of those things. You'll know what I'm talking about and what this is in your life is if, if you've been thinking about letting something go, like a situation or a belief or whatever, but you're still kind of like, eh, you know, you, you don't really want to let it go. Um, that's obviously what you need to let go of. And, you know, because it's holding you back. It's acting like a crutch in your life and you need to let it go with this card. Next, you have the Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades is an interesting card. Uh, I frequently call this card the forest fire because it, it acts like a forest fire. It burns everything out of your life, but it's important because that allows for regrowth and stronger regrowth. You know, here in the States and even in a lot of other countries like Australia, they burn down forests on purpose because it returns nutrients to the soil and always allows the plant life and even the animals to bounce back like 10 times stronger by doing that, by returning all the nutrients to the soil. I think you experience this and very much so in, in 2014, 2015 a lot of burning out a lot of just like things being taken right away from you never to see them again and all this other stuff but i think this year this card's coming in saying hey you're going to see the growth from all of those things that were taken from you this year and you're going to experience a lot of growth so that is you know some good stuff right there Next, you have the Two of Spades which can indicate a breakup uh you know for some of you i wouldn't worry too much about it as I say with the Two of Spades, it's a weak card, so you're usually not too upset to see the things go, but just know that it's a potential you know, potential breakup there. For a majority of you, though, I would have to say that this is actually you breaking away from something, uh, very much that Nine of Spades that was there. I think this is you separating from something that you no longer need. It could be a person, could be a job, it could be something like that, but I think you'll see moving through the year. I think it'll happen earlier in the year, if any, if it does happen at all for you. And I think you'll see how uh, how beneficial it is, like, you know, as we move through the year that that situation was to leave you. So if you do experience some sort of breakup or a breaking away of a, a job or a person, whatever the case may be, I think later on in the year, you're going to it, it will, have you know, open up some major doors for you and, and you'll be grateful that that happened. So just know that as well. Next, you have the Nine of Clubs. You've had a bunch of nines. So, you know, there's definitely something you need to let go of. It could be that two situation right there. So, I mean, you might need to leave a job and, and expand and start your own business. You might need to leave your job to get a better job or something like that. So don't allow that to hold you back. But this card right here is a card of recognition. It's a card of being recognized even and, and getting an achievement. It's something that you've earned. You've worked for really hard. And, you know, so you could be earning some achievements this year. You could get noticed by your job or in your business or something. You could re receive some sort of award even with this card. Uh, but also with this card, I always tell people if you want to get noticed and, you know, say you have a business and you want that business to get noticed, do everything you possibly can to stand out. Create viral videos on YouTube and create a bunch of them. Create uh, some new stories and put them in the newspaper, some press releases, things like that. This card, the more things you do, the better of a chance you'll have to get recognized with this card. So it's a little bit of a marketing advice that you could use to really stand out this year and see some success in your business or in your life in general. And finally, you have the Six of Hearts. Six of Hearts represents exactly what Capricorn's been going through probably for some time now, putting energy out and getting nothing back. You know, It's like no matter what you try to do, nothing seems to work. Now, with this card coming in, it's like finally... You can put energy into things and you can see the return on the energy where things start working out for you and getting better. So I'm really happy to see you end on this card as well. So all in all, you have an amazing year. Definitely enjoy it. Thank you for watching. And again, please feel free to watch the other two videos for your sign linked below.